Hello, it's DB with the Heavy Duty Steel Mailbox. Before we look at the mailbox, let me just point out that as most of these types of mailboxes, there's a flag to put up when you put mail in there to let the mail person know that um, you have something in there for him or her to take. It comes with three different colors. I'm not sure, three different flags you can use. I'm not sure why. Um, any mailbox I've ever seen has red only. I don't know if the uh, Postal Service requires a specific color or not, but I'm just going to go with the red. Anyway, this is heavy duty. I don't remember how much this weighs, but this thing is heavy. This is solid. It's it's well put together. Um, there, there's no slack or sloppiness about it. It has a magnetic um, door instead of uh, the typical ones that have like a, a clip where it snaps on. This one just goes like that. It's uh, nice and deep. You can fit an awful lot in here. So it's a very good mailbox, except most mailboxes I've had like this, on the bottom, there's a lip that hangs over here. And once you put the post in, then you put another piece of wood on that fits here. And usually you screw from the side into that piece of wood. With this one, for one thing, they suggest putting it on a post. Well, if you're going to put it directly on a post, you need a post that's about 10 by 10 inches. Because here are the holes, this far away or that far away. Now, a 4x4 four four post is only going to be about that big. So, they suggest that you, whatever you screw it into, if you have a post that big, what you have to do is put lag bolts in, in here, you mark the wood, then you drill the holes, then you put this back on, and then you use the lag bolts, but you have to screw them in here. You have to screw them down in here, like with the ratchet wrench or whatever kind of wrench you have. And that just seems awfully awkward to me. But what I think I'll do is just drill the holes, put bolts in, and nuts on the bottom to tighten it up. It'll make it easier to install. So with that in mind, I highly recommend it, but... Make sure you have good, strong wood, preferably uh, treated wood. It's got to be good, strong wood because this is heavy. I don't remember how many pounds, but it's not like your typical mailbox. It should last for a long time, and I hope this helps you decide.